What's up everyone? I'm here in sunny Anaheim on July 4th for the Volleyball Nations League where I'll be given backstage access to meet some of the professional players, courtside seating, and best of all, get to watch some great volleyball. I just arrived at the Best Western Plus in Anaheim, so got off my flight this morning and I gotta get checked in first. Let's see how the room is. Got a nice office space to edit some video. Cheapest room was a double queen, so that's where we got two beds. It's just me for this trip. As you guys know, the bathroom is the most important. Clean toilets, bathtub for a hot bath at night. And my favorite travel outfit, representing the man, Bruce Lee. First, let's talk about how I even ended up here. Last week, someone from the Volleyball World Instagram reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in collaborating with the FIVB to make some content for them, have backstage access, do a meet and greet with some of the national team players, and just make content to help promote the Volleyball Nations League. Unfortunately, I actually had my jump camp and spiking power camp going on all of next week. But this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to work with the FIVB and to get access to all the national team players at the Volleyball Nations League. So I couldn't pass this up. Luckily, I got a couple trainers that will be teaching the jump camp and spiking power camp in my place. But I still feel a little guilty because I always try to stick to my commitments, but I had to make a tough choice and knew that this opportunity does not come around very often. I'm gonna show you what I packed. We got the tech bag with all the cables inside. Several charging cables for the laptop and the phones. I even brought my volleyball shoes in case I end up playing. Maybe the US team needs an outside hitter for this event. Brought my GoPro just in case I need to attach this to something. Hypervolt, because I do gotta stay in shape and I do plan to work out. Tempurpedic pillow, always gotta take care of your neck health and sleep as well as you can. And a bunch of Elevate shirts. And don't forget the tripod. Unfortunately, I forgot a really important item, my two portable battery chargers, because when you're recording games for several hours, it definitely drains the battery on the phones, the cameras, and all the devices. So I gotta rush over to Best Buy because the first match is actually in a few hours. So I wanna get there early and set up. Just spent $150 on the portable charger and the mini tripod. Now I got an Uber back to Best Western and this trip is getting expensive pretty fast. Unfortunately, only two charges, not enough to last the whole day. Might have to bring this little outlet with me and be ghetto and charge it at the convention center. So I got to the convention center, it's huge and there's not very good signage. So I feel like I've been walking around the outside trying to find out where the entrance is and there's no staff around to help. Also, when I purchased it, Happy July 4th. It is July 4th today, Independence Day, lots of firecrackers. Even on the tickets that I bought, there wasn't any communication on which hall, which area. So this is gonna be a little frustrating. Finally made it. Oh, ho, look at this. Wow, this is amazing. Let's just capture this view for a second. So this is my seat, section 227A8. And look at this view, it's got like a nice back corner view, although hopefully the line just doesn't block too much. Let's check out the Serbian team warm up here. I always love to watch and learn what people are doing nowadays. Here's all the behind the scenes magic here. Looks like that replay line judge system right there. Ooh, testing it out. Let's see how the Argentinian team warms up. That's the Checo, one of the best stars in the world. And I'm just having chills being here. I can't believe I finally made it to the Volleyball Nations League, my first BNL match in my life. Got goosebumps, can't wait to watch this game. Check this out, we got free Wi-Fi and an outlet to charge, what a great day. The best part of the match, the hitting warm up.
teams are stretching down, saying hi to the fans. Always make sure you cool down after the games. So it's 2.45 right now, and the next match starts at 4.30. I'll still come here early to record the hang lines and get set up, but it is freezing in here. It's like really cold. I got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that. Not from the excitement, although it was exciting. I think I might have to go back to the hotel, get something to eat, and probably get a sweater. Or maybe I might get a Volleyball World sweater, but that was a really good first start. Amazing match. So I'm just standing outside just trying to get warm. I still feel like my bones are cold. Luckily, it's pretty sunny today, and I got my fanny pack, looking like an Asian dad. And I'll probably go in and decide not to go back to the hotel, just relax here and eat some of the concession food and maybe get a hoodie. I think I'm gonna get a B&L hoodie. All right, let's see what this concession stand's all about. Looks like they got parfaits, sandwiches, yogurts. Not bad. You know, I think I might just keep it light, get a chia pudding, overnight oats and really grub tonight. It looks kind of dry. It's okay, not a lot of flavor. It is on the dry side, but we'll do the job. Wow, look at that line for the game. It's Iran versus France. I know there's a pretty significant Persian population in Southern California, so probably gonna get a lot of Iranian fans. I think I'm gonna get that hoodie. Actually, I might like that one better. Getting the hoodie pressed right now. Hot off the press. Get ready for France versus Iran. I feel so much better with this hoodie on. I was freezing my bones off. These Iranian fans are awesome. Look at that energy from Iran. Ronnie and Franz are crazy. These hardcore Iranian fans. That security guard keeps telling them to back up and they keep encroaching. You gotta love the energy of the Iranian fans. They're just as passionate as the Brazilian fans, and that's a saying a lot. Now I gotta find my way home. I took an Uber here because I didn't want to be late. I want to see how long it takes to walk back to the hotel because I can't be spending money on an Uber every single time. So I sent that video of the Iranian woman cheering to one of my Persian friends. And at first I thought they were just still cheering for Iran in terms of the volleyball game, but she said they're actually protesting against the mistreatment of women in Iran from the government. And my heart goes out to all the people in Iran um, just really tragic with what's been going on and truly admire all the people that have been protesting and giving their lives for that cause So I'm glad that that sentiment is still strong and there's still a lot of support here in the US for that Hopefully things will change for the better for women's rights in that country Feels good that the Sun is out even though it's evening time And I'm glad I ate light because I am starving and Coco's bakery and restaurant does sound pretty good Ah, unfortunately, they closed down. I actually saw an Indian restaurant just a couple blocks down that way on my way to the hotel. I'm definitely craving some type of Asian food. I purposely avoided it because I'm afraid I might end up drinking too much chai tea and I really need to sleep tonight, but hopefully tonight I can practice some control because that Indian food is calling me. There it is, but I know myself if I eat there, I'm gonna enjoy the food, but I'm gonna have like three cups of chai tea and I really need to sleep tonight. So my form of self-control is going to a restaurant that doesn't have tea options and I still like some Italian food. Chicken Alfredo sounds good. Simple, noodles, meat, carbs, and hopefully it comes with a salad. Ooh, the bread is warm and flaky. That's a good sign. To give you olive oil and balsamic vinegar, that's good too. really good bread. Ultra flaky and soft. I'm impressed already just with the bread and the appetizer. 
Looks like these croutons are actually made in house. I got Italian dressing. Not bad. It's fresh. None of the lettuce is wilted. Got a good crunch, but not a lot of flavor. Does the job. Fiber so I don't get constipated. All right, this is a hard dish to mess up. I'm gonna put a little Parmesan in there. Ooh, it fogged up the camera. Not bad, it's actually pretty good. The chicken breast is not overcooked. It's a little bit on the drier side, but the cream sauce helps a lot. The noodles are al dente. Yeah, I think this is the spot. One thing I try to do is that on the days that I don't work out, I try not to eat as much. I still keep my protein pretty high and my hydration good, but I try to keep all the other categories, the fats and the carbs, a little bit lower. I haven't worked out today, and yesterday's workout was pretty light, so I'm not burning a lot of calories, so I decided not to finish my Alfredo, even though I could, but just trying to stay lean, even though the temptation is strong. And I want to leave room for a little bit of dessert. Even though I'm like exhausted and about to fall asleep, I do want to check out their pool and gym because I do plan on working out tomorrow before the free breakfast. All right, we got combo machine, a rack. I was hoping for some dumbbells, but this is not the worst thing out there. At least there are some weights. I could probably do some plow metrics out there. Got these cute animal bushes. Decided to get my favorite cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and some milk. That's my dessert. What can I say? I'm a simple man with simple taste. Always hits the spot. It's 9 p.m. right now. Going to sleep pretty early because it was a very long day. Woke up at 5 to make sure I had everything packed. Flew out. And as soon as I landed, I had to go to Best Buy and then get everything set up and then go straight to two games. I'm super grateful for this opportunity. Unfortunately today, I didn't feel like I was able to enjoy the games because I was so worried about just my work that I have going on at home, making sure my staff is taken care of and the jump camp. And on top of that, trying to make sure that I record good quality footage. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to enjoy watching a little bit more as I record. But I also have my first meet and greet interview where I get to interview players from the USA national team, I think. Yeah, I don't think they'll have me interviewing Cuba because I don't really speak Spanish. And they haven't given me a lot of detail. Man, you hear all those crazy firecrackers going on. Not looking forward to that because that's going to be going on all night and won't even be able to sleep with that. But regarding the interview, um, the FIVB hasn't given me much clear instructions on where to go or the format or how long I have. So I'm just going to try to come prepared with as many questions as I can, bring a tripod, portable mic, and just do the best I can. But at the end of the day, I'm just glad that I have a chance to watch the VNL, be in this atmosphere, and to make more great content for the channel. We'll see you tomorrow.